Hey guys, it's Nadine. I'm often asked how I handle our money and finances, and in my humble opinion, one of the very first steps to getting a grip on your finances is by budgeting, and the only way to budget is to know where your money is going. I wanted to share with you a very quick walkthrough of my Hobonichi Weeks, because this is where I track my spending, which allows me to then set a budget. First, let me share with you a story about me and money. I wasn't always good with money. In fact, there was a time in my life where I was downright sucky at it. I didn't come from money, so I really didn't know how to handle it once we had some. We had one Air Force income, two student loans, three kids, and more wants than we had money for. When all of my kids were finally in school, I started back to work and it was the most financially freeing thing I ever did. But it was kind of a double-edged sword because once I started making my own money, I kind of went crazy and splurged on myself. A lot. A lot, lot, lot. It was fun, but not smart. Over time, I realized that I needed to set a budget and stick to it like glue. It's great to have money coming in, but knowing where it's going is the key to success. When you can account for every penny of your hard-earned money, it's easier to stick to a budget. I've tried different systems, but what works best is my Hobonichi Weeks. I've been using Hobonichi Weeks for finances for the last three or four years, always tweaking it along the way. It is the perfect size to carry around and fits in any of my bags. Usually, I don't decorate my planner, but since budgeting and tracking money is the farthest from fun, I find that adding stickers helps encourage the use of this Hobonichi Weeks. Alright, so let's take a look at what's in mine. The front Month on two page calendar is where I keep track of my appointments, etc. When out and about, I carry to do items in the front, like dry cleaning slips or bank deposit slips. Receipts from purchases are stored in the back. The note page next to the week on the page layout is used as my brain dump for errands I need to run. I usually don't get to run errands all in one day, so I jot them down on the days that I plan to do them. Once the errand is run, it's checked off and the amount paid is written next to it. If I bought something for business, it gets highlighted. I love this system because it allows me to see where I went and what I spent at a glance. When I get home, most of the receipts go into a shred pile, which is done on my Friday workflow. And because I highlighted a business expense, I know right away which receipt needs to be filed by my bookkeeper for taxes later. In the note area of my Hobonichi is where I have a slip over envelope from the Queen P. This is where I like to store cash. I prefer to use cash when possible. For me, it's a great way to keep a rein on my money. And while credit and debit cards are great, that's also a very, very easy way to get into some financial trouble. I have a few other little extras that I have in my Hobonichi Weeks. My slip over page markers are tutorials that I have on my Instagram. So if you're interested in those, go ahead and follow me so that you can check them out on there. If starting a budget seems overwhelming to you, try this system. It's very, very easy, super portable, and takes out the guesswork when it comes to tracking your spending. Once you get this part down, you can then figure out a realistic budget and maybe even move it to a cash envelope system. Do you have a system of how you track your spending? Let me know if you have any questions. But before I leave you, I'd love to share with you the same Hobonichi Weeks I use. In this giveaway, you'll get a Hobonichi Week Spring Edition, the exact pen I use, my favorite month tabs from Shine Sticker Studio, two plastic folios to store receipts, and my favorite stickers from Daiso. All you have to do is be a follower, like this video, and comment below if you have a system of how you track your spending. Also, you must be 18 years or older, and I will be picking one winner only on YouTube. But before I leave you, let me tell you one more thing. I'll be running another giveaway on my Instagram as well. So go over there and make sure you're following me for more chances to win. All right, all right. One more thing. I promise. I promise. I share a lot of good stuff on my Instagram. So at least once a month, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some of the good stuff I find. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure to put all of the information with the rules and my Instagram account in the description box below so that you guys can have another chance to try to win my Hobonichi Weeks giveaway.